Here's a quick demo of the hydraulic condensation technique. So you can see the sealer is placed into the coronal third. You want to express some of this BC sealer right up in that coronal third of the chamber, uh, slowly adding it and creating a nice little reservoir there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our match cone. So the cone is going to be the same size as the prepared canal. And what we're going to do is insert it slowly. And as you'll see, as the tip of the cone goes into the sealer, that what it's going to be serving as is a piston, in, in essence, a hydraulic piston to carry the sealer to the end of the root. So watch how it works. So I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to actually progress it slowly and watch how it actually carries the sealer down with it. It becomes essentially a piston. What's important to recognize is you also want there to be enough space within the canal where some of the sealer can flow coronally as well. So it gives it almost like a venting or escape valve. So I'm going to bring the tip in. Here's the gutta percha going in. It's going to catch into the reservoir of BC sealer. And as you see, as I insert it slowly, watch how the sealer completely goes to the end. You can see just a little puff come out of the end there. That's the hydraulic condensation. And at the coronal end, there was a little eking of the sealer up coronally. So this technique is effective, powerful for BC sealer and obturation.